Hey guys, how y'all doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. I hope you're absolutely all having a blessed day today. On this episode, I am checking out the follow-up band cover parody, so I don't really know entirely what it is, <laughs> to the song Secret My Lips by Bandmade. I am checking out Band Mako's version, Secret Mako Lips, which I've been told by <laughs> quite a few people. And when I say quite a few people, I mean quite a few people. Now, this is a good song. It is a good version of this song by a completely unrelated band that has absolutely nothing to do with Bandmade, and there are a bunch of different people doing different things, not at all the same people from Bandmade. I don't think I can lay that on any heavier than I already have, and if you haven't picked up on that, let's just watch and we'll we figure out together shall we before that really quick if there's another song by either band mako or band made or any other band that you want me to check out feel free to drop it in the comments down below and i will get to it and i will add it to my ever-growing list of song recommendations and also while you're down there make sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to see more videos of mine with all that being said let's just get into it also forgot to open my celsius before recording i said ah, before i even opened it what if it tasted bad I'd be impressed if it tasted bad. But what if it tasted bad? And I just did ah, for nothing. That is actually, this is actually one completely unrelated note. This is actually my like favorite flavor of Celsius. It's the Astro Vibe. It's basically like a blue raspberry. Top tier. Right up there with the Tropical Vibe. That still is that, I don't know. Those two are like my two favorite flavors, but the Tropical Vibe, like delicious. That one's also really good. So, you know, if you ever find yourself in the need for a Celsius, there's two recommendations. Real shame that I'm not actually sponsored by Celsius because I feel like I'd be doing them a lot of great promo. I'm doing them a lot of great free promo, that's for sure. You. I know that's a part of traditional Japanese singing, but like I just think of um, when I when I heard her do that, it's uh, I forget what it's from. Um, there's another song that has that in that it's not anything related to like a more traditional uh, what is that song is it the uh uh i want to say it's it's like a vic it's the victory lane theme from pokemon it's either victory lane or it's the something plateau theme but it's like it's a remix of it i don't like it was super popular i think a few years ago by a few years ago, I mean like eight years ago or so. It was like a re uh, like an EDM remix of it. Anyway, it's completely unrelated. I don't know the name of that um that other the the traditional stringed instrument I, I don't know the name of it please drop in the comments down below but that addition to the song was not unexpected because i knew they incorporated um some more traditional instruments but it's so welcome because it adds just another layer of like depth and texture to the song And the, I, it sounds, I don't know what it is. I, I almost said flute, but I, I know there's another name for it. But that instrument too, dude, this is so cool. Oh, this is so dynamic. I have no idea what that scene was about of throwing a paper fan at something standing on a like a wooden block. Is that a traditional Japanese game? I have no idea, but it's it's like heavy rock song, hard rock song. That. It's like, "What? Huh? Okay." <laughs> There's something, so I know the entire point of Bandmade is to be a big juxtaposition between, you know, the music that they make, which is hard rock versus like 
how they dress. It's like the traditional Japanese made outfit versus the hard rock thing. Like I'm aware of that juxtaposition, but somehow the traditional Japanese, um, like uh, was it is it kimono? I think it's kimonos. I don't know if that's right or not. I think that's what it is. Anyways, like them wearing that with a traditional like white Japanese makeup and then the hard rock for some reason that juxtaposition hits harder i don't know why it just kind of does <laughs> that instrument with the the paddle that they use to play it i can't remember what that's called i used to know i do not remember what that's called. I love that this music video is all over the place. It's like, hey, here we're playing stuff, and then it's like throwing a fan at a wooden block, and then I'm just eating rice and or soup. I don't know. And just realize that they're all, where I paused it, they're all just staring at me. Is I'm just going to hit play. Oh, and then whatever that drum is, um, I used to know what those drums were called too, but they, they like just all of the traditional instruments that are being used. It's just, I can't say it enough. It adds so much like dynamics and texture to the song. It's just, so cool. Texture actually might not be the right word. I think it is actually just dynamics, but either, either way, it's basically like being like, Oh, it's the moral of ethics. Either way, it just, it adds so much to the song. I, I love the fact that they did that. Also, too, one thing that I really enjoy is that the, I can't remember her name, the backup singer, not the backup singer, well, I guess technically backup singer, either way, the second singer, I appreciate the fact that she's more, whenever she's singing, it's more upfront in the mix. In this song, I don't remember if in the original she was as prominent. I don't remember, but I like the fact that a, her guitar is a little bit more prominent up front. And also the fact that her vocals are louder in the mix because it, you know, it adds another, it adds just another layer to it. Her, like there is a heavier, like, eff like effects chain that's on hers with, um, whatever, whatever filter that is. Uh, I should just stop trying to guess because I usually get it wrong unless it's a reverb. <laughs> I can get those pretty right, pretty accurately. But, um, someone said a bandpass filter and that actually might be what it is. Um, but I like that she's more upfront and you can very like clearly hear that there's two vocalists because sometimes, sometimes when it's like a lot of high energy music, you can sometimes lose the secondary singer. So I like that it's more upfront in this song. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember if this happens in the original, even though I literally just listened to it like two days ago. Or was it three days ago? I don't know. Anyways, just that, the, the jazz guitar out of nowhere, like the break of all of the music, the over, like the over reverb and the over delay of the vocal, and then just the jazz guitar for no reason. It's like, where did that come from? But I'm, I'm here for it. Awesome. Oh, 
And then it was just like the instrumental with the just the well, I guess the drums were in there too, but like primarily the the traditional instruments, and then drop out everything back in, and the guitars are just absolutely shredding. It's <laughs> so good. Oh, they're singing a harmony. Look, it took my second, uh, it took my brain a solid few seconds to realize, wait a second, they're singing harmony. Uh, I'm not tired. It's definitely not almost my vacation. <laughs> it's, mm, my, mm, I'm, I, I promise I'm actually paying attention. My brain is just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Little bunny just hopping down the trail. Basically what happened there for a second. <laughs> Oh, they even changed the logo. <laughs> I didn't actually catch it at the beginning. I think it did say Ban Mako, but like this, they changed this one. Well, basically, they just had the same font text for the name. Anyways. But yeah, that was Secret Mako uh -huh. Lips by Ban Mako. Because you know what? They rebranded themselves for a few days with this and for a few songs. So I'm going to just call on that. Anyways. Yeah, with all that being said, <laughs> we absolutely did all enjoy it. That was awesome. I loved the inclusion of the different instruments. It really added some like dynamics to the song. So yeah, with all that being said, I already said that. I will catch you guys all next time. God bless.